On today's special holiday edition of Kyle Nation TV, take a closer look of ISM and their winter showcase. See the legacy the seniors are leaving behind in choir. Today is December 18th, 2014, and you're watching Kyle Nation TV. Good morning, Coyotes. I'm Olivia Nash. And on the time, Matthew Tran. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated for the moment of silence. Seniors, the Senior Parent Committee is here today and tomorrow to sell the Class of 2015 shirts and sweatshirts. That's right, so make sure to get yours ASAP to show off your coyote class. You know what, another way to show class is by part participating in the Heritage Band fundraiser today at Papa Murphy's on Virginia and Stonebridge by Albertsons. Be sure to mention Heritage Band when you're paying. I love Papa Murphy's. I know, me too, it's really good. The Frisco Education Foundation scholarship applications are due tomorrow at 5 p.m. To access the online application and instructions on how to apply, please see www.friscoeducationfoundation.org. I think ISM had their winter showcase the other night. Do you know what they were showcasing? Well, I know what ISM stands for, Independent Study and Mentorship. Well, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> well, CNTV's Courtney Madden found out how ISM students and Mr. Pirtle prepared for the big night. ISM, or Independent Study and Mentorship, had their winter showcase on Tuesday where they exhibited their hard work from this school year so far. ISM is a class where students choose a field to study for the school year. Then they choose a mentor from the field they are interested in to learn from. I will be presenting my board, which displays what commercial architecture is, which is the designing of industries, offices, and buildings as an architect and really all the inner workings of that. The students are already realizing how ISM will help them in their future careers. It's going to set me apart from everybody else. So graduating college or even getting into college, I'll have um, an upper hand kind of thing. And so that'll get me one step closer to my dream of, well, my dream of like owning my own company and becoming a successful engineer. Not only will ISM push me to be more independent in my studies, but it will also encourage me to actually go out and do things on my own and not just rely on school. But Although the students learn a lot in this class, it may sometimes be challenging. However, it is not impossible to succeed in ISM. And I, you know, I'm there as well as the mentors to guide them through the process, but it truly is independent uh, where they have to manage, learn to time manage. They have to work to schedule appointments, conduct interviews, and those types of things. From what I've heard, students say that it's a lot of work and um, maybe it's not worth the time that you put into it. But honestly, like I agree with them, it's a lot of work, but if you time it out properly and you put in the right amount of work and not like procrastinate, it's going to help you more than it's going to hurt you. So I think it's a great um, program and class to take. If you are interested in joining ISM next year, stay tuned to CNTV for more information on the application process in the spring. I'm Courtney Madden for Coyote Nation TV. I heard there was a lot of people that showed up yeah, that day. Yeah, I heard all of Frisco came, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Track and field athletes, don't forget there is a mandatory meeting after school today at 415 in G118. There will be the new classroom behind the gyms. If you have any questions, contact Coach Laster or Coach Gaines. Generations of choir students have passed through leaving their mark on heritage. This year's seniors are no different as their time are coming to an end. CNTV's Leslie Moda shows us the legacy they'll be leaving behind. 
Performing on the stage is not only for actors and musicians. There are other groups who continue to work hard to bring some melody to the halls. For years, our choir has been singing and entertaining, but for a few, the journey ends this year. Most of my friends are going to be leaving next year or are going to be staying here. And it's very sad, but I, I know that they'll do good in whatever they'll do. Some of the seniors have found that choir is helpful outside of high school, too. Eric Rubin says he plans to study vocaling in college and knows his time here is essential. Seniors are known to be a positive example, leaving an impression on underclassmen. And in choir, it is no different. What, whatever we do impacts them as much as it impacts us. You know, how they see, how, how, you know, how we behave, that's the way they see us, you know. That's how they see heritage, that's how they see, they see the coyote spirit. Although the seniors have made their mark, Mr. Boudier still advises his students to continue to work hard. You always have to work to improve. You have to apply effort to any task that's in front of you, whether it's reading music and singing or whether it's anything beyond high school. The legacy of the seniors will continue to influence the next generations of upcoming choir students. I'm Leslie Moda for Coyote Nation TV. Thanks, Leslie, for the amazing story. Yeah, it was great. Tomorrow, the book club is having their meeting before school. At 8, they will be discussing the book, Ink Heart, by Cornelia Funk. They will also be voting on the next two books to read for January and February. Also, in the library, the chess club will be having a chess tournament starting at 415. Guys, if you need a VOE form to renew or get your driver's license during the winter break, today is the last day to sign up for the form. Remember, there is a 24-hour turnaround. So, one more day until winter break. I know, I'm so excited. There's no homework, no teachers. Just get to chill, watch Netflix, eat, and be on Vine all day. Well, and get gifts. Well, let's wrap things up, you know. <laughs> okay. And today's events are Varsity Boys and Girls Wrestling versus Independence here at 6. Tomorrow, basketball games against Lone Star will be here. JV Boys will start at 4.30, Varsity Boys at 8. JV Girls at 4.30, 9th Grade Girls at 7.30, and the Varsity Girls at 6. Varsity Boys and Girls Wrestling will compete against Capel at Capel at 5.30. Make sure to su subscribe to us on YouTube at and, Coyote Nation TV. And remember to follow us on our awesome Twitter page at Coyote Nation TV. Tell us how you are spending your winter break on Twitter by using the hashtag Heritage Holiday for a chance to be on the next show's teaser. Well, I guess that concludes our holiday special. I'm Olivia Nash. And I'm Ty Matthew Tran. And from the rest of the CNT staff, we would like to wish you happy holidays. And, and you, you stay, stay jolly, jolly coyotes. coyotes.